Okay guys, this ain't grandma's meatloaf. This is the best meatloaf. All right guys, tonight blacksmith's meatloaf is what's on the menu and we're gonna do it up just right. In fact, I'm gonna experiment a little bit. All you need for this recipe is four pounds of 80-20 ground beef. I'm gonna throw in one uncooked Johnsonville brat, some Heinz sriracha flavored ketchup. I'll let you know what we're gonna use it for in a little bit. Grillaholics SPG, some good old Lowry seasoned salt, and some cayenne pepper for a little bit of kick. Of course, we've got some Prego. Any cheap spaghetti sauce will do, guys. Some Quaker Quick Oats. Now, stick with me, guys, on this. Quaker Quick Oats. Good old red pepper flakes. And my secret ingredient, some liquid smoke. I'll tell you why in a minute. Some grated cheese, probably about a cup. And uh, four eggs. So that's one egg per pound of uh, meat. Now, you're going to need a meatloaf tray that uh, carries about four pounds plus with all these ingredients they usually do. And uh, get yourself one of these kind that has a little removable. So let's get started. Get the uh, four eggs out of the way. We can basically go with the cheese. Now this is freshly grated cheese, guys. One little note about pre-packaged grated cheese. It does have some, uh, some stuff in it that keeps it from sticking to each other. Um, and that's okay but uh, that's not okay for me. I don't want to eat that stuff. Uh, then in goes the onions, guys. Eh, about, you know, a cup to two cups of onion. I'm using red onion this time. You can use a yellow onion. I'm going to go with one of these Johnsonville uncooked brats. And uh, I took it out of the casing, and I'm just going to kind of chunk it up there, guys. You want some beer? Thank you, baby. You're welcome. We're going to go with about a cup of cheapo spaghetti sauce and then you just put it in there there you go just like that now if you guys got kids uh and don't like stuff hot uh if you're a wussy hey just uh don't put any in there i also like to kick it up a little bit with some cayenne pepper there we go now this is going to kind of cook down guys so don't don't be uh don't be shy about this stuff then some lowry seasoned salt again about a tablespoon of that all right. Now, if you guys never tried Lowry's, try it. It's awesome stuff now. And at this point, I'm going to put in some of these quick oats, maybe a half cup to start with. And then I'm going to go with some Grillaholics SPG, guys. And there we go. All right. This is really good stuff, guys. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description when you go check yours on. We're going to be putting this on the Traeger. And it's Traeger is not known for supplying a whole lot of smoke on a short cook like this. Uh, I've never tried it before. I'm going to take some of this liquid smoke and I'm just going to start with uh, a little bit, guys. Just a little bit. Now, I'm hoping that's going to give it just a hint of that smoke flavor. I know it's cheating, guys, but uh, hey, you got to do what you got to do sometimes. And of course, have a beverage. Get in there. Get your hands in there. Don't be a wussy here, guys. Okay, right now I like to form it with my hand a little bit and I can kind of see it's holding together pretty good, guys. So I'm thinking it's got the right mixture of oats in there, okay? That's tap. Bam, oh. there we go, guys. You do want to make this look like a loaf of bread, okay? And with this pan, makes it really easy. Now, make a little get valley. yourself a little valley right there. Go ahead and give it a good squirt down the valley. Now you can use regular cheapo spaghetti sauce, that's fine. Um, we're just kicking it up a notch here with the sriracha flavored stuff. And uh, you want to cover up all the visible meat. Open up that Traeger. Make sure we're checking that you got enough pellets. Right now I'm using just a standard competition blend. Then you want to turn it on to your smoke setting, guys, on this Traeger. You want it wide open, clean, your stack uncovered, nice dry pellets filled up, and let it come up to smoke. You're going to see all that smoke come out. Magic happens. All right, guys, normally in an oven, we want to go up to about 425 to 450 for about 45 minutes. I know this trigger can get me about 425, so I'm going to be 
trucking along there hoping to get up to 425. I'm going to be using my instant read thermometer to make sure that interior temperature gets up to at least 145. I want it well done all the way through guys. right there, the Grillaholics SPG, and a few other things, but mostly SPG by Grillaholics uh, meatloaf. So let me just, I'm going to open up one end here. That's the side I'm going to show you. Look at that. Oh my god. A little bit, a little bit of a tiny smoke ring, yeah. Now it's in the pan, so just the top. Okay, so Sassy likes the end, so... This slices so perfectly, guys. And, oh, that's okay. That's okay. Uh, <laughs> now, now this stuff is great as leftovers. It's a little hot, a little hot. Mm. All right, so Sassy made some garlic herb rice and uh, green beans. I love green beans. Eat your veggies, guys. Meatloaf is probably one of the few things that we endorse eating with ketchup. I, I usually don't eat ketchup by anything. Sassy helped out a lot. She was kind of in the background. She was still in the pool when I got started, so. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to check us out. Bye. Bye.